Take notice, the Retrospect 3, Salmon Sky. There she is. Okay, it might be a little bit lighter than a salmon or maybe a muted salmon color, as Amy describes, but nonetheless, still gorgeous. Diver inspired by the lesser known vintage dive watch designs. This beauty captures essences of the 1950s era, but brings out some modern contemporary style. Great materials lend to its toughness while not sacrificing good looks here. The bezel is a highlight with its inward slope design so as to not damage it in case of knocks or bumps, etc. Reminds me of the bezel design of the Rado Captain Cook, actually, with a sloped concave bezel. No matter what the comparison, though, it's a nice touch notice. In case you missed it when I released the short, watch what Amy says. Amy, what do you think of the notice retrospect in Salmon? I don't think that's salmon. What? It's not salmon. It's not salmon? I don't know what color it is. That's I, salmon. That's not, that's like a tuna. What? Tuna? <laughs> tuna? A beautiful 41.5 millimeter stainless steel brushed case with coin edge sloped bezel, large screw down sign crown. She's great, robust and easy to handle. Short sloped brush lugs, not going too far to span across the uh, wrist with this 316L surgical stainless steel at 48 millimeters for the lug to lug. She's wearing quite close to a 40. Now a very reasonable lug width of 22 millimeters, which is quite common, makes for easy strap change options, especially since this beauty not only has drilled lugs, but comes with quick release pins for the bracelet. Comment below, let me know if you like that. That's a special feature. Making strap changes an ease now the thickness for the watch is reasonable and thinner than past iterations at 13 millimeters. A closed case back contributes to the 200 meters of water resistance and it may be plain, but it's functional. It just does what it needs to do. The feature bezel here is a 120 click unidirectional bezel with fully loomed insert. The bezel is radially marked at 10 minute increments around all the way to the top of the PIP or primary indicator position at the 12. Topping off the watch is a double dome sapphire crystal with underside anti-reflective coating. Jeez! Now, possibly a concern is the weight. At 162 grams, full package and kit, uh, that could be an issue for some. Some people don't like having that heft on the wrist. I mean, you could be a little lighter if you remove some links for sizing. As you can see in the video here with my seven and a quarter inch wrist, she fits pretty good. Now back to the dial. No numerals, triangle hour markers around the dial with loom filling. And the great thing here is that they're not applied markers. If you look closely, they're under the dial, like a sandwich design, similar to that of you would see of Panerai or Baltic or some of the other models. Notice in the logo at the 12, retrospect at the six, a date window at the lower six as well. I know some of you like this with the black on salmon colored design. Baton style hands and large seconds hands with loom and blue loom tip sweeping around the dial. Why blue? Why is it blue tipped large seconds hand? We know we often see red tipped, sometimes we have orange. This one's got a blue tip seconds hand. Hmm. Maybe because it's a dive watch, it's around water. I'll check in with Notice and see what they say. Everything works and visibility was obviously a priority. Not just because it's a dive watch, but because it's an everyday use as well. You could put this baby on top of a Christmas tree with its C3 Superluminova looking after the loom across several points of the watch, hands, markers, and bezel. Under the surface or above it, you're gonna be locked in. And the dial is finished off with an outer minute second chapter ring to complete this watch and the Salmon Sky dial design, giving it a little bit of that sporty touch. Now the movement is the Seiko Japanese Automatic Caliber TMI NH35, 24 joules, anti-magnetic, and regulated by notice to plus minus 10 seconds a day, and it carries a 41 hour power reserve. Now the bracelet is special, lots of great features here. She starts at 22 millimeters, tapering down to 18 millimeters at the push button, quick release deployment style clasp. This is the Notice proprietary Nodex clasp closure with the built-in push button diver extension. Did I mention this before? You may have seen it before when I reviewed the Sector GMT. And as mentioned earlier, quick release spring bars are great touch. If the weight is a concern, we'll just change it out, put on your leather, put on your NATO, put on your rubber. It'll surely lighten the load 
Overall, I give the watch a big thumbs up. Great style, great materials, fine package. And now you get to the price. Check in at noticewatches.com. 475 US, 634 Canadian. This is pretty damn affordable considering what you're getting. A great value for the dollar pickup. To each his own. I tell you right now, I don't mind it. It doesn't bother me a bit. 162, not something that I have a problem handling. She fits real nice. I love it. Looks real great. If you have the choice, swap it out. And what Notice does is they make it easy for you to do that, right? Quick release pins, drilled lugs, boom, boom, boom. You're changing this thing out, no problem. Putting it on whatever strap is gonna make you happy. And also work with your body and wrist type so that you can lessen that weight. She's gorgeous though. Designed and assembled in Los Angeles, California. I have to get there, I still haven't been yet. I need to go. Maybe someone could arrange for me to go out there and see how these beauties are built in the Notice factory. That would be the trip of a lifetime. The Notice Retrospect 3, Salmon Sky, automatic. Check them out and get noticed. It's New Year's Eve morning. So this will officially be the last video of 2023. The Notice Salmon Sky Retrospect 3, Diver Inspired Beauty. Thank you very much for all the support and all of the comments and all of the likes, all of the subscribers for this past 2023. It's been special. I'm looking forward to a great new year. 2024 is going to be fantastic. We're going to crush it. You and me both. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all the special things you got to do for the algorithm. And don't forget, turn the notifications on. Because when you hit the bell, you'll get notified when the next video drops. And you know what? More content is coming. I'm just a normal guy who loves watches, loves to create and inform. I appreciate you all. Happy New Year. And we'll see you on the next one. From the 902 and oh, stuck in all these anthems, and I'm only 24. I'm gonna make them dance, yeah, pushing my advance, yeah. I eat all that fake shit on the surface in my soul, yeah. I can feel my heart be racing, I'm just trying to cop. You know that I'm fading when I'm.